Charter Miss, 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 Tail thing, and then oh wait, nope, that's a head in the butt. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortness Prime here, doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers Not Blast Off figure. Yes, this figure is from Warbotron, a brand new company that's dedicated to making a badass looking third party Bruticus figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Big Bad Toy Store for making this review happen. If you are looking for this figure and you want to pick one up, you can find it there. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at Big Bad Toy Store. Dot com. Click the link in the description below. So this is the first figure that we're seeing from them. Uh, the actual name of the character is Airburst. It's not Blast Off, but you know, it's basically based off of Blast Off. We have some very cool packaging over here. And this is a very large figure. I want to say it's at least Voyager class size. We have uh, Warbertron written right over there, which is the company name, but also sounds like should be the third party name for the Bruticus that we're seeing over here. And then WB01-A, Airburst right there. And then we have some crazy art going on on the side. We have some wreckage and everything. That looks pretty neat. And then Warbotron over there again. And then we have some warning stuff. And then we have the website. You can go to warbotron.com. And we have some warning labels right there at the bottom too. And then we can slip off this piece of cardboard right over here. And then there we have the figure Minton package. Look at that. Looks pretty nice. Uh, one thing I'm noticing over here, he does have some shoulder pads that are loose, but I see some ball pegs right there that don't have anything attached to them. So I think those will just clip on right back on there nicely and so that's what the rattling sound is from we have some nice box art right here of blast off or air burst anyway i think that looks pretty cool and we have this whole like clips going on so very beautiful artwork right here on the packaging and then on the side of the packaging you can see a little picture of air burst right there we get some arrows it says number w01 a201301 then rank sergeant action team marshal master then we have misspelled armed forces R R M. then we have this back of the packaging right over there we get some 3D pictures or we have some computer rendered art right there of the character in the alt mode and in the robot mode. We get the website Robotron, email admin at warbotron.com and then they have their Facebook. The figure looks awesome. It's pretty big, man. I think this is going to be a really cool Bruticus. I can't wait to see this figure, so let's just get to it and crack him open. So here's Airburst out of the packaging and what a cool looking figure. Like I said, definitely a Voyager class size figure and I think this looks incredible. Look at that. I like how the colors came out. I really like the plastic on this figure. He has some accessories. Just want to do a 360 shot of the figure over here before we get into that. I think this is cool. Now the thing that really sticks out about me with this guy is that you couldn't tell that he turns into a space shuttle if it just wasn't for these two pieces right over here. Like you can remove these. These are kind of his like shoulder blasters or his arm blasters. But if you take those away, you would have no idea what he transforms into. And I love that. I like to see that in a Transformers figure when you can't tell what it is when he's in robot mode. So like I said, he has some accessories. So let's take a look. So we have this laminated card over here that seems to be made out of plastic. Very thick, very, very shiny, very cool artwork. Again, same thing that we saw on the cover of the packaging. I just think this looks great. So whoever did the art on this, fantastic work, man. Especially this coloring right here with the blaster and everything. And it's purple because it's a Decepticon, or it's not a Decepticon. Then we have some specs right over here. His skill is at a four. His strength is at a four. His intelligence is at a three. Then we have the same info right over here that we had on the side of the packaging that we looked at earlier. And we also get this laminated cover of this comic book slash instruction guide over here. Uh, the first half of it is a comic and then the second half is the instructions for how to transform him into his shuttle mode and then it also shows you how to transform him into his right arm mode. And a funny note about this thing is that the English uh, gets kind of spotty sometimes, you know what I mean? Don't crash to the mountain. I thought that was pretty funny. I saw Bolt Matrix point that out in his review. That was a really good review by the way. Aside from the Armed Forces type but we also get that. But this thing is about comic book size to compare it to an actual comic book. This is a Days of Future Past comic that came with the legendary writers Wolverine. So I showed you earlier how Airburst has these two blasters right over here and I think these are pretty cool even though they're not my favorite. And these slide out, you just push that in and then it slides out like that. Same thing on this one right over here and it has these ports that stick out where you can connect them on his forearms or you can connect it on the calves. And then you can pull this out over here and it fits into his hand nicely so you can have this being held in his hand. 
I like how the hands actually have this kind of circular shape in there and it makes it a little easy to get the other blasters in there, but you can have them hold it like that if you wish. I prefer not having him hold these particular guns though, I prefer tucking this in right here and then putting it right on his shoulder like that and then moving this fin downwards, because that's how he looks on the cover of the packaging. Then he does have these two ports over here, so if you want him attached to the calves, you can do that too. I think that makes the leg look too big though, I think that's kind of weird. And then we have these two blasters over here, which I like a lot. These ones I think are very cool, and they also have this function where you could slide this out, and if you, well, you don't want to slide it out that far, but you want it to stop right around here. I think that's pretty cool looking. I like these a lot, and it feels like the hands are made to hold these a little bit better too. Like I said, there's a circular port right here in the hand, and that looks really cool having them hold it like that. I think Warbotron did a great job on the head sculpt of this figure. There's nothing else to ask for. I really like how it's designed to look like the port heads that we got on the G1 combiners. I think that's great. I like this mask that we get. The silver paint applications look good, and I really like the light piping. Look at that light piping, man. I'm not even trying over here. It's just my white backdrop reflecting light into the light piping, so if we turn this all the way around, you can see this whole piece right here. It's just clear purple plastic so that the light can go through it. I think this looks great. They did a fantastic job with that. And I really like the sculpt overall. As I'd mentioned earlier, we have that shoulder piece right over there that connected just fine and it's not loose or anything. So something had to have happened during shipping. I like the complexity of his torso section. I think that looks really cool. And I like these lines sculpted right there in the forearms. I think that looks pretty nice. The legs have some nice line work in there too. I think that's very cool. Some silver paint applications. So there's a lot of variety in the sculpting of this that just makes it look really cool to me. Even the feet down here looks like it has some toes and pistons and stuff sculpted right there and I really like how this wing is sculpted or folded around the leg. That's part of the transformation and you can see the jet boosters right there in the bottom and then looking at the back of the figure. Looks pretty cool. We kind of have this backpack thing going on with the nose of the shuttle and I think they could have possibly figured out a way to fold this or make this collapse a little better. I don't know exactly what to do with it. Nope, nose in the butt. Don't want to do that. But uh, yeah, this is just kind of weird back here. But other than that, I think it's a very, very cool robot mode. I like this robot mode a lot. And as you could probably tell just by looking at the figure, he has a great range of articulation. Now the head does not look up. That's the thing that kind of ticks me off a little bit. You can get him to look down just a little bit and he rotates his head side to side and he does have a little bit of neck pivot. As we had already discussed, the shoulder pads do have articulation. You can rotate them around and move them out of the way so you can move the actual shoulders. They move at 90 degrees like that. You can move them forward. He has a bicep swivel. He has a double jointed elbow that could bend even more inward than 90 degrees. That is very cool. And he does have wrists that move side to side and fingers that clamp in and out together. He also has a waist swivel which I think is great, and he has this flap right here for the crotch piece that you can move forward to like that. But this piece moving over here allows for the legs to move upward that much, and I think that's pretty cool. And the hips can move outward too. He has an upper thigh swivel right here, and he can bend at the knee, not at a full 90 degrees, but it bends in very well. And the heels actually have some articulation. You can move these up and down. He has ankles that are on a ball peg. They can move downward. You can get them to move upward, mostly due to the transformation. And he does have some ankle pivot right there on that same ball peg, but he has an extra ankle pivot, or it's a foot pivot really, because due to the transformation you're going to want to turn this side to side, so that swivels right there too, makes it easier for him to stand. So a lot of really cool articulation on this figure, I do like it. So Airburst is not a short transformer by any means, he does stand at 7 inches tall. So here's our not blast off compared to my G2 blast off, so you can see the color difference over here, this guy definitely resembling the G1 color scheme. One thing I should have mentioned earlier though is that this guy does have ports that you can attach guns right there to the calves and I do like that you have the option to do that with this guy too so if you wanted to add these guys over here I guess and you wanted these pointing forward you can do that which is kind of neat but I don't know I'm not gonna display them like that it looks kind of weird to me and here we have airburst compared to my fall of Cybertron generations deluxe blast off figure and this is the color scheme for the retail version and you can see this is a deluxe generations figure and this definitely looks a lot more like a Voyager class sized figure here's our not blast off compared to the Voyager blitz 
Blitzwing figure from Generations Classics, and you can see that he's just a little bit shorter than Blitzwing. And then here he is compared to another Voyager class combiner figure, the Mastermind Creations Bovis. We have Masterpiece Smokescreen over here and the TRU exclusive Masterpiece Optimus Prime. So I do think that this is a Masterpiece scale combiner figure. That is awesome. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So before we get into transforming this guy, you do want to put aside his weapons. You want to put these two pieces aside over here, the two blasters, put those aside right over there. All right, will you take us away, Bumblebee? Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do is move these shoulder pads up. Uh, you want to rotate them around on these ball joints over here. It's a little tricky, but you can just feel for it. You want to just turn it all the way around like that, and then connect these together like that, and it's not too tricky. It fits in okay like so. And then you want to pull this canopy piece over here. Now this does get a little tricky. You have this little tab, and it goes into this slot right there, and we're just going to reach this down, and hey, that was a little easier than it was the last time I did this. You want to lift these two pieces up over here, get these little tabs that are on the inside, lift that up, and do the same thing to the other side over here. And then we have this section right here with the hands. You want to rotate this all the way around. Yeah, that's right. I said rotate, and you're going to push it in there and do the same thing to the other side. Now, it's really important that you do this correctly, because if you have the hands facing the wrong way, you will not be able to close this up when it's in shuttle mode. And then we're going to pull these pieces up in here, and then we're going to rotate this so that these parts are facing upward and we want to lift this piece over here so we're going to lift that on the other side as well and then you want to rotate this inward and this has this little peg that sticks out right there and it goes into this little port right over there into the thigh and we're going to plug that in on both sides while at the same time trying to get this center section right over here connected nicely a little gripe of mine is that these two pieces don't really connect too well uh, i do have each of these tabs plugged into the hips but there's still this little gap over here here. I guess it just takes a little bit more finagling and then it'll work out. But anyway, we want to close these pieces off right here on the sides and then get this little tab going in right there and then make sure this is open all the way before you slam it down. Or you don't want to slam anything down. You kind of want to be careful, but you can see the shuttle is forming. Now here's the tricky part is you want to push these legs in. They just slide right into this section over here and you just want to use a little bit of might and there you go. It's kind of like the Masterpiece Prime legs. You kind of want to push them in there except there's no tab and then that goes in there, and that goes in there, and then there's tabs and ports on two sections of the legs right there and right there where it all connects together nicely. And then this wing actually came off on mine. It's a ported section and everything, so you can just push this right back on, and we'll transform that in a second. I want to get to the feet over here. Uh, you want to rotate this whole toe articulated part and then move this forward and then do the same thing to the other side. Rotate that and rotate that forward, so now we're getting in the bottom of the shuttle. Then we got these boosters right here, put them facing downward, and then the wings transform pretty nicely as well. You just want to rotate this forward, same thing over here, and then we have this flap, and it's kind of off-angled, but you just want to move the hinge around, and then do the same thing to this side, and then flip the wings downward. And we have these two guys over here, and you want to get this fin formed together, and mush that so that it is one piece. And there it goes, not too bad. And then we have these ports and then these pegs and then it just fits in pretty nicely over here. And that snaps together with this wing falling off once again because I just pushed it off. And that is pretty much the alt mode and I really like the way this looks. This is awesome. Uh, he does have these little sculpted wheels right here in the back. It's kind of fake, they don't roll or anything, but he has actual wheels up here. And it gets kind of tricky, you want to pick the corner of this, it's really, really small, and you just want to dig in there with your nail, and uh, yeah, that's pretty tricky, that's really tough to get in there. Uh, got this side, but this one over here is kind of a pain in the butt. So I had to resort to this Hot Toys tool over here, this little pick thing, and if I use that, then I can get this thing out. Yeah, damn, and it's still kind of a pain in the butt, but if I do it correctly, let's see, there we go. So that's the only real gripe about this transformation, but you get the wheels, and they, and they roll right here, you know, so that's pretty neat. 
And that's how he looks sitting there with his landing gear and everything. And I think this is a great alt mode. I already mentioned it earlier. It's an awesome alt mode. And it looks menacing when you look at it head on. I really like these translucent purple windows over here up at the top in the cockpit. I think that's really cool. Gets a little finicky, you know, making sure these wings are all flat and everything the way they're supposed to. But it's not too bad. I mean, this is just really, really cool looking to me. I like this a lot. I did complain about this midsection over here, but, you know, I really can't feel like I have a complaint about it right now. I really like how that looks. This is dope. And I really like the shiny purple paint that they used right here on the wings. I think these are very cool. This is dope looking. I like it. I think this is very, very cool. Not much stuff hanging around the bottom or anything either. And then you do have these guns that we'd seen earlier. You have ports on the side. So if you want to, you can plug them in on the sides right there. And there that goes. I prefer to have these guys hanging underneath the wings though. Yeah, to me it looks a little cooler having them underneath the wings. I don't know, it reminds me of the Seekers a little bit, I guess. You could extend these out and then move them to the port that's actually closer. And that looks a little cooler to me actually. I think that's the preferred mode of having the guns set up or the blasters anyway. This is nice. A detail that I forgot to mention was I really like like the yellow right here on the edges of the wings. That's really cool. We have these little lights and same thing right here at the very bottom. And then I really like the silver right here and these thrusters. I think that's very cool. A lot of nice detail on this for both modes. Just a perfect looking beefy shuttle. So to get some measurements of airburst in his shuttle mode or his alt mode, he's at about eight inches long. And then we're looking, I don't know, from wingtip to wingtip, about four and a half inches wide. Or the body of this shuttle is about two inches wide. And then here he is compared to his G2 counterpart. Then here's airburst compared to our Generations Deluxe class blast off figure. And you can see, much larger figure right here with the airburst. Look at that. That is cool. Whoop, this wing went right down, but yeah, looks pretty nice. So I'm very happy with this alt mode, but we gotta see him in his third mode, the combiner mode, or his right arm mode. So we take us away, Bumblebee. Yeah, alrighty, so first thing we're gonna do is swing the legs outward. So that's gonna retract like that, and then you're gonna take these guns off over here, and then we fold the wings back into how it was during the alt mode, or the robot mode, sorry. So we're gonna fold this right back in like that. I'm gonna scissor this down and shove that in, and then do the same thing to the other side, but plug this right back in. So these wings will pop off on you as you transform it around, but it's really not that big of a nuisance. And we take these mid flaps right over here, and then we're gonna lift these up, so have these swing upward like that. And then we're gonna take the arms, and we're gonna move them outward, close this, do the same thing on this side, close that, and then rotate these around. You know you're in the right place, you have the fist facing at you right here, and then you wanna swing this down, swing this down, and then turn this up like that so this is gonna look like this and then do the same thing to this side take the bottom section of the figure and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees so that the feet are facing at you like this and then you can put this crotch piece right back down actually I didn't put the landing gear back up and there goes the landing gear and you can see there's a slot right here at the very bottom that's where the hand is going to go in the figure does not come with the hand and it says you want to push these boosters or these thrusts right back over here. Then we have one last thing that we need to do is we lift the mid section over here. We have this transparent purple plastic. We're going to move that up and then swing this little piece down. And then we could pick at this little guy and there's the port that goes into the onslaught figure. And yep, I can rotate it a little bit. Ugh, it's very, very stiff. But that's pretty much the arm mode. Um, I don't really like these doors too much and I can't say I'm too happy about this gap right here. I guess we'll wait to see till the whole thing's complete. But so far, uh, uh, this gap actually frustrates me the most. I, I don't like seeing that. And to really get an idea how huge this Bruticus figure is going to be, here it is compared to the right arm of the TFC Devastator and the right arm of the fans Project Menasaur. Wow, he's going to be way bigger than Menasaur. Looks like he's actually even going to be bigger than Hercules. Jeez. This is Warbotron's very first figure that they have produced, and I gotta say, they did a great job. I like this figure a lot. Gotta thank the people at Warbotron and the people at BBTS, Big Bad Toy Store, for making this possible. Please check out tformers.com. I have my photo gallery up there. I took a lot of pictures of this guy. I hope you guys liked the video. If you liked my review, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And if you're not subscribed already, what the hell is wrong with you? Subscribe. I'll catch you later. Peace. Pew pew. Bang bang.
So then, so you want to make sure, so you know, bleh.